Hello and welcome. So far, we have built our camel routes or, you know, several integration when we are using camel um, inside a Java Spring framework. OK, or we have also tried to build, you know, camel application as, as a st standalone, i.e. which did not require Spring framework. But wouldn't it be nice, like, you know, if I can just take my camel route, OK, and I can just simply kind of, you know, take that script and just just run it. OK, or several times, let's say, like, you know, um, if you are doing some sort of kind of, you know, back end support in production server where you can't, you know, compile Java code or you can't take the Java code, but still you you, you like to kind of, you know, make use of of uh, Camel's power. OK, uh, for probably just reading from some sort of messaging queue or some writing some quick script which can, you know, um, you know, integrate with uh, some sort of, you know, um, event system. It could be Kafka or file or whatever. Do some some business processing and then just, you know, send it, send it downstream. Um, so this is where comes like, you know, Camel J J Bank. OK, Camel J Bank uh, promises to simplify this this particular experience where you can simply take um, Camel root, OK, in, in a scripty form, OK, uh, or standalone um, uh, form and, and simply run it without compiling, without shipping the, the binary anywhere. But in order to run Camel as script, first thing we need is J Bank. So if you are new to J Bank, you never heard of J Bank. So J Bank, if you go to their website, it says it lets students, educators and professional developers like myself create edit and run self-contained source only Java programs with unprecedented ease. I couldn't be more agree with, with this particular statement. So you, you simply take a very simple Java program. OK, you just run it as a script. You don't have to compile. You don't have to worry about dependencies. JBank can do all the magic for you. This tutorial, however, is not for JBank. So I'll, I'll strongly recommend you go and, and try to kind of, you know, understand what JBank is. But and, and also, I think we need uh, to install JBank. OK, um, so what is Camel JBank? It is a JBank based Camel app for easily running Camel routes. So this is the quotation. If you go to Camel JBank page, um, you know, it's 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 been mentioned over there. OK, so. In today's session, what we will do, we basically, we'll uh, it's, it's a complete hands-on, like various other videos. We'll try to install Camel app on JBank platform, um, and then we'll try to kind of, you know, try to do few few sample um, examples just to have a feeling of Camel uh, JBank, that how powerful that is, and how it can increase your productivity. Before going further, I would like to say big thank you to the, to this this gentleman. Okay, close. Ibsen. Who is he? He's a senior principal software engineer and he is a camel guru. He is the guy behind several camel components. He literally created, you know, those those beautiful are kind of literally, you know, time saving, life saving components. So thank you, Klaus. OK, I'm, I'm really proud that we are connected and every now and then we, we do we do chat. Um, so Klaus has been working on Camel JBank uh, for some time. So I thought, OK, why not? I, I try it and give a go. And I'm literally blown away. OK, I'm super impressed. I'm super excited. And I know for sure that it's going to make my life easier. And once you have seen what I'm going to show, you will also appreciate that, you know, it's it's how easy it is and, um, you know, how it's going to really help in your day to day development. So getting started, how do we get started? First of all, you have to install JBank. As I said, I'm not gonna tell you like you know, um, how to install JBank. Just go to website, it's super, super easy. It supports MacBook, it supports Windows, it supports Linux. You name any platform, it, it supports it, okay? And it takes literally few minutes to install JBank and it's super easy. You can try a few samples to just have a feel of JBank, okay? Um, there are some concepts like you know, which might be slightly newer to you, OK, but spend 10, 15 minutes and you will be literally master of JBank. OK, it's it's as simple as that. Um, we're going to install Camel JBank. That's the whole objective of this particular session. Um, one thing I would would highly recommend once you kind of, you know, watched this this particular demo, go to this website, camelapache.org, manual camel dash JBank HTML or, or put on a search engine saying Camel JBank and it should take you to the the official page. All righty. Um, 
So what we will do, so Camel JBank can be installed natively on your, on your, your uh, operating system, or you can also do a Docker based setup. Okay. In this tutorial, however, I will be running or installing Camel JBank natively in, in my MacBook, and then we'll try to run, run some examples. Perfect. So let's head to our, the in, interesting thing today is let's, I'm not going to use any IDE. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna run any editor or or anything like that. Okay, my whole objective here is, let's say I have something, you know, a camel root which I have written somewhere in my code. I just wanted to quickly try it. Okay, or I like to write a quick root. Okay, to to do some sort of you know uh, business use case. So first thing, what we're going to do is let's just install our uh, JBank app. Okay, so JBank app install. Camel at Apache dash Camel. That's that's the full command. If you go to go to the web page, uh, you should be able to copy this particular command. It's, okay, let's hit that uh, command installed Camel. Perfect. So if you go to say JBank list app, or I think it's called app list. So if I say app that space list, it's, it's showing me that you know uh, Camel app has been installed. Perfect. So how do we check if camel has really been installed you simply say camel version it's it's showing us that camel 4.1.0 uh, version has been installed this machine okay at this point we are now ready to run our camel root there are several ways in which you can try and run your camel root you can literally you know write a root on the prompt itself which can say from go to here and there and and do whatever. Okay, so if you go to the the website which I said earlier, you will literally find like you know dozens of examples um, uh, over there. Okay, which is super super useful. So first thing what we want to do over here is just to kind of give you like you know um, a feeling what it is. So let's say I have a root. Okay, which is basically written here. I know it's it's a very small font. Apologies, but what this root is simply doing. It's taking some sort of, you know, let's just assume that you have some sort of input stream which is coming, okay? Um, it's written in file or, or input stream. Um, and then you would like to put some sort of kind of check saying, okay, if it contains some sort of sensitive information, it could be password or, or any sensitive information credit card, you, you like to mask that information and then write to another file or send it downstream. Okay, let's say you have this particular route, but you either like to try this route or maybe in your kind of, you know, production system somewhere where you have the JBank installed, um, you can write a route to read that event, okay, and at the runtime itself, you know, try try out that route, okay? So what I have done over here, um, I don't know what is the shortcut to increase the, the font size here, but let's say I have written this particular route so there are two ways of, of running this particular route. I'll, I'll show you both, okay? So first is I have copied this to my clipboard, okay? Of course, I have copied to my clipboard. What I can simply do is I can say we, um, what's the file name? Uh, what did we give the file name? Let's say file reader, okay? vi file reader dot java all right uh, and it has already pasted my stuff over here okay if i come out of that what i simply have to do is camel run file reader dot java so what this file reader will do basically it will read input from a file do some sort of parsing and then send it downstreams. Okay, so let's just run it. So my camel root has started. Can you see the power already? I have not compiled my Java file. I did not start any server. I simply created a Java file and I said, camel, please run this Java file. And my root is up and running mind-boggling guys mind-boggling okay it's gonna save us so much time so thank you so in camel there are a bunch of commands you can run okay camel ps it will simply show you 
uh, which process is running in the background okay there we go um so what i have done so in my route basically i'm i'm expecting uh, some sort of uh, file over here or let's say input stream which as soon as i write to here the the upstairs route is watching for that particular file in this folder okay so if i simply say echo name um and into this this particular file done okay so as you can see ah oh, sorry wrong wrong in the sense that i should have said java sorry name is jss okay let's just clear the console false positive okay so i'm saying in, in input stream is coming okay and input stream contains name colon jss okay at this point everything is good we have printed name jss that's what our root is simply saying now my root is also saying that you know when you read this file dump it into to 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 out uh, so i'm i'm simply going to tail this particular um file which we have just written now let's say at this point the another thing which came the new stream which came in or new event sorry which is coming it contains a keyword or sensitive field called password and let's say my password is secret so root is saying read the event but if it contains some sort of kind of sensitive information mask that thing and and then write on to the out file out file okay if i now write this thing notice so we got this raw data in my root okay even though i should not be log dot info but just for demo purposes i'm saying log this information but my root has taken the information and it has run some business logic which has masked this particular field with asterisks okay so that was our root now another thing which i wanted to show you was let's say uh, at run time i would like to tweak something in my root okay and what i really want to tweak is so just notice it, this is the demo guys okay so earlier i was saying um probably you know these two carrots body body now what i'm simply saying is you know surround surround the body with maybe this this square bracket so what typically what would happen at this point is like you know if you make any any changes to java file you will have to save it you have to compile it you have to probably you know build it ship it blah 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 okay even even over here what we will have to do is we'll have to basically you know go back stop the root and update our file okay and then restart it but no just watch for a second so what i'm going to do over here is i'm simply going to say camel stop okay so camel will stop you know everything all the routes which are running in the background i can run in the background as well by the way there is a command dash dash background which would have run previous command but fair enough now earlier you remember what we did we ran a file called file reader dot java now let's say i don't want to even create a file what i can do is i can do a magic called clipboard dot java so clipboard i don't know how how the class has done or how this thing this thing is working but there is a there is a magical file called clipboard.java it's going to read from my clipboard whatever i have copied in my clipboard so i don't even have to create a file and i'm simply going to say camel run clipboard.java man this this thing is driving me crazy trust me <laughs> i'm loving it okay so earlier we we had to to caret signs okay now and the word and now our word will be surrounded by square bracket just remember that okay so i'm going to clean that screen and let's send an event and event is going to be camel name jss 2 okay so so a new new event see now it's surrounded by square bracket i did not create new file it's reading from my clipboard oh my it's is genius work okay this is good second thing what you can do is let's say your code is sitting somewhere in your github repo or some web page or website somewhere okay but you would like to try that that out you can you can do that as well okay there are as i said there are dozens of ways i'm just showing you two three ways one file second clipboard because i love the clipboard idea third i'm just going to show you from github 
how can you run an example let's say I, let's go back to the camel's official example uh, website so this is uh, camel uh, kind of camlet examples over here i'm going to take one yaml again by the way i forgot to tell you not only you can run you know roots written in in java you can run roots written in xml you can run root written in yaml because these are all kind of you know dsls supported by camel officially um, you can run multiple roots as well just just separate them by space okay so let's say hypothetically i have a root which is hosted on github i'm just going to simply copy this url otherwise what would happen would happen is like you no know, i i will copy this thing save locally compile my code ship it blah blah all these things but over here what i can simply do is again it's all about productivity developer productivity that is the mantra over here that is the focus over here so what we can simply do is we can simply say camel run i'm going to paste this this particular url hello.yaml okay so it's it's going to at run time it's going to say I have not found because I said cam instead. I'm I'm over excited over here. Okay, let's say camel run, blah blah blah. See, it's going to GitHub. It has pulled from GitHub and it's running this route from GitHub. I did not create anything. I did not create anything. See, this is the power of of um, JBang, and on top of that. camel magic is going on over here all right okay that's where we will finish today i hope uh, you enjoyed this particular session okay on um, camel as script how can you run camel as script using jbang i uh, i hope you enjoyed this session if you like this session leave comments okay and tell me like you know how you finding camel with with jbang and uh, what sort of examples have you tried and what sort of feedback you have uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please try to subscribe or at least leave a feedback okay how are you finding my my videos if they are useful uh, leave a comment i'll i'll really appreciate okay thank you very much for watching uh, i will see you in the next video very soon